as you can see, I'm doing something a little bit different today. Usually when um, I have students come in to do science outreach activities, before we do all of those hands-on things, we ask them questions about what is nanotechnology and what do you know about it, where can we find it, um, all those kinds of things. And I wanted to, instead of doing that with you guys, obviously, because I, I don't have any of you in my house. <laughs> so instead of doing that, I decided to ask some of my friends who are all scientists and engineers to answer these questions about nanotechnology instead, because I want to show you all that nanotechnology isn't limited to just my, my specific field of, of kind of energy research in material science. I mean, it's, it's prevalent in every single field of science that you can think of. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's so cool. Uh, okay, so get ready to hear some opinions of real scientists and, engin and engineers about what nanotechnology is in their fields. Do I have to say hi? <laughs> you, don't... <laughs> you don't have to say just hi the, if you don't want question. <laughs> hi everyone, uh, my name is Dylan. And I know Abby from high school, so we went to choir together, did acapella and all that type of stuff, some plays and everything. Hi, my name is Dana, and I'm a college student majoring in chemistry and minoring in computer science and biology. My name is Liam. I'm currently an undergraduate at the University of Cambridge in the UK. I'm studying physics and theoretical physics. I saw her Caltech presentation on YouTube, was very impressed and eager to find out more, so I decided to send her an email. Hi everybody, my name is Emily. I am Abby's best friend of about 12 years. We met when we were 11 in sixth grade. I did my undergraduate degree at VCU in Richmond. I got my bachelor's of science in biology and I also minored in chemistry. Currently, I am in a master's of biomedical sciences program and then I will be starting medical school at VCOM in Blacksburg in July and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to be in person for that. It won't be online. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Neil. So me and Abby actually went to NC State together. Um, I also majored in material science and engineering, and I will actually also be going to Stanford in the fall to pursue my PhD in material science and engineering with a focus on biomaterials. Oh, and I'm also taking care of two puppies, so that's, that's what I do most of the time. I'm Daniela. I am graduating from North Carolina State University with a major uh, in physics and chemistry, and I'll be going into grad school for material science. Hi, my name is Keila. I'm a graduate student at Louisiana State University, and I study the nuclear physics of stars. I personally don't believe in nanotechnology. I think you just made it up. I just made it up? Yeah. Because you can't see it? Yeah, because you just really want to use a microscope. Right. The first question that I asked my friends was, what is nanotechnology? The prefix nano means one billionth of a meter. Take uh, a 30 cm, well, you guys say 12 inch ruler, and let's let's cut it in half. And let's cut it in half again, and again, and again, and again. And let's do this for 28 times in total. And that's what we call the nanoscale. Just kind of a size reference, a human hair is about 100,000 nanometers thick. So if you took a meter stick and divided it into one billion pieces, each piece would be a nanometer long. That's one million times smaller than an ant. Mind blown. The ants in the garden table are maybe a couple of millimeters long. We zoom in and zoom in and we see cells, then bacteria at the micrometer level, and smaller still, we get the building blocks of the DNA. So nanotechnology is just using really small things to do other really cool things. Medicine, that's looking a lot at our DNA, and it's also looking a lot at the germs, so the bacteria, viruses that all live on and in our bodies. So we're taking things that you can't see. And it's actually too small for us to see with our naked eye. And it takes microscopes that are millions of dollars to be able to see it all. We actually need very special microscopes to get a good look. And we put them in things to make them perform better. My definition of nanotechnology is the manipulation of technology, anything smaller than uh, visually perceivable like molecules or atoms and stuff like that. It's, it's small technology. You may ask, but Liam, how can something this small affect us? Well, that's where you are mistaken. The nanotechnology is essentially the application of really small 
molecules to do almost anything you want them to. We take these little tiny molecules, particles, whatever you're talking about, you can inject them into the body or you can use them in solar panels or in clothes and give them properties that they just wouldn't have otherwise. Detecting cancer in your cells or improving the way solar cells work. Probably the best example I can give of nanotechnology is our cell phones. The circuits and the microchips that make your smartphone smart wouldn't exist at all without nanotechnology. Nanotechnology will be the technology leap that takes us into the atom and also beyond the stars. Uh, you can really do anything with them as long as they're small enough. That's all nanotechnology means.